to Road Trip to Fire, your source for going on your road trip to financial independence. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for joining again. I got a new mic. I hope the sound has improved because I had some complaints about that. I hope it's loud enough now. Guys, we need to talk about real estate, namely deflation of real estate. We need to talk about the possible collapse of housing prices. If my information is correct, and I believe that the housing prices could potentially collapse by because of innovation. We'll see it first in the farmlands and the ranches, and then it will come to the rest of the real estate. Guys, stay tuned and find out what could happen to our real estate. So guys, first a flashback back to February. What happened in February? In February, we had massive fear of inflation actually we did have inflation we ended up having inflation but i'll get to that later so we had very very massive fear of inflation and as a consequence the stocks especially the high growth valuation stocks the growth stocks the tech stocks the stocks i love the stocks you guys might love collapsed so big big disaster some of my portfolio actually i saw them go down um for me personally 20% but people who invested on the all-time high in February those stocks went down for 60% I kept investing I hope you guys did the same because now we're seeing a massive boom I think part of it is related to the fact that in May we saw the lumber prices peaking and we actually saw them dropping after that so the lumber prices were the first indication that we might not have such high inflation so i want to share this video about katie woods because she also has made some claims about inflation she actually sees deflation uh, deflation in goods so have a listen to katie and see what she has to say on that but there are two other sources of deflation out there and this is what we've been saying for quite some time one has to do with it's a good deflation it's caused by technologically enabled innovation. And we believe when you see DNA sequencing costs uh, dropping 40% for every cumulative doubling in, in genome sequenced, or when you see AI training costs dropping 37 to 50% per year, these are massive deflationary forces that are going to hit every part of the economy. AI is going to be everywhere. So that's good deflation. Now, what's bad deflation? Uh, bad deflation is going to hit those companies that are going to be disintermediated and disrupted by all of the innovation that we talk about all the time based on DNA sequencing, robotic energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology. So companies who have leveraged up to satisfy short-term oriented shareholders who say, I want my profits now, I want my dividends now, so they buy back their shares, they haven't been investing enough in innovation. They are gonna lose, if they're not lucky, if, not, if, they're, if they are unlucky, they will lose their businesses. So I skipped the first part because that was just about innovation related to goods and services, things we're seeing right now. But long term, we're talking about innovation that is so groundbreaking it could bankrupt companies. And what did kind of innovation did I show on my channel earlier? I talked about cultured meat, lab grown meat. So what's special about lab grown meat? It needs 98% less land. Okay guys, have a look at this. This is all the land in the earth. So of all our land on the earth, only 71% is habitable. Now of the habitable land, 50% is agriculture. Of that agricultural land, 77% is used for meat and dairy. Now, if you can imagine, of that 77%, you need 98% less land to produce meat. What is going to happen with the price of this 50%, you think? That's right. We will see a massive, massive deflation in agricultural land for sure. It might impact other land as well. But that's not sure because there is building regulations in place to avoid that everyone just builds everywhere. So that will depend from country to country. 
but in some countries you will also see a collapse of the prices of the land that is used to build houses on printing technology so here let's say companies using 3d printing technology to build houses at half the time for half the price and while a few years ago we were still talking about this as science fiction by now we saw that companies in germany have created a printer that can build family houses family homes but even apartment blocks houses where people are actually planning to live it's of course it's normal you're saving on labor costs you're saving on time and most of all you're saving on materials so three things again that will lead to deflation what timeline are we talking about cultured meat you should really consider that in the, the technology right now is ready so the only thing it's needed now is to build the factories and to start producing the cultured meat massively so that's where we are on 3d printing we have a long way to go i think for cultured meat we're looking at 10 years so 10 years that's when you're going to see those farmlands prices starting to drop 3d printing to be honest i think we're 20 years away from seeing this technology being massively adopted by the audience so these are two things you have to watch if you are invested in real estate thank you all for watching if you like this video please like please subscribe it means a lot to me and you're really really helping my channel grow guys